Hello, this is Mr. Buffington, and today we are looking at decimal word problems. So what you can expect to see in this lesson is that we will do four word problems with adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing of decimals. And in this, we'll just try and go through them pretty quickly and show you some examples of the types of questions you can expect to see in each of those categories. So here is um, our first example with addition. I had $3.21 and I earned $7.92. How much do I have now? Any um, question like this where you will be um, joining two groups together or two amounts together, you'll be increasing an amount by a certain um, amount, then you'll do that using addition of decimals. So in this case, I would write it out vertically and solve it. 321 plus 792 is equal to $11.13. Normally with a word problem, you would also um, have a full sentence answer, something like, I now have $11.13. And that would be how you would solve this type of question with addition or increasing with decimals. The next operation is subtraction. When you are subtracting with decimals, you are decreasing. So you have a certain amount, and then you are making it less because of the um, <clears throat> the operation or because of the, the word problem situation. Here it is. My car had 12.3 gallons of gas. I burned 4.8 gallons on a recent trip. How much do I have left? So you start with a certain amount. You decrease it by a certain amount. And for this type of question, you'll be using subtraction. Um, whenever I subtract with fractions, I set them up vertically like this and then go ahead and solve just like I normally would, making sure that you line up the decimals with this question. So 12.3 minus 4.8 leaves us with 7.5. Again, what is that saying? That's saying I have 7.5 gallons of gasoline left or a fuel left in my car. And that's what um, the answer to this question would be. The third operation is multiplication, and with this type of question, you're going to be told usually um, times something, or some words inside of the question will give away that you're going to be multiplying. Product is one word that also means multiply. So what is the product of those two numbers? That would mean multiplication. So let's look. My pumpkin weighed 0.32 pounds, but now it weighs 50.3 times that amount or times that weight. What is the new weight of the pumpkin? So we are multiplying because they use the word times in there. Um, you can set this up as 0 0.32 times 50 or, or times 50.3 or 50.3 times 0 0.32. Either way is, is fine. Um, either way you'll get the, the same answer. So I went ahead and set it up this way. So I start out by multiplying 2 times basically 503. So I'm ignoring the decimal at first and just multiplying like normal. 2 times 503 gives me 1006. 3 times 503 gives me 1509. But I also have to remember to put that 0 in as a placeholder when I'm multiplying each time you move in one um, place value. All right, so this one here is not. It's not like that's a 3, that's a 3, 0, right? So you have to put the 0 in there. Then we add these two numbers together and get 1,600, or 16,000, I'm sorry, 96. Now, with adding um, or multiplying decimals, we have to apply the rule at the end that you count the number of decimals you have here, or the number of numbers on the, le the right of the decimal, 3, 3 and 2. 1, 2, 3 numbers. So there's going to be 3 numbers on the right of the decimal in the final answer. So it would be 16.96, not 16,096. All right, so that's, again, just um, kind of a recap on, on how to multiply with decimals. All right, our last question is not decimals, but it's a different type of question. Um, if I have 24 marbles, how many different ways can I divide them into even groups? Um, dividing into even groups is not really decimals. It's more um, dividing into groups. But this type of question, you can see this 
um, mixed in there. So basically, if you're asking for division into groups or equal groups, you know that you're doing a division question. Um, it's kind of difficult to have decimals in division questions, but you might get them. Um, with this specific type of question, it's basically asking you about factor pairs. Um, so you're dividing into even groups or equal groups. That means you're not working with decimals. It means you're dividing into equal groups, which is essentially factor pairs. So one of my groups could be that I have um, one group with 24 marbles. It's one group. I could have uh, 24 groups with one marble. That makes it two. Two groups with 12 marbles, because 2 times 12 is 24. Um, 12 groups of two marbles, again a factor pair. Three groups of eight, eight groups of three, four groups of six, and six groups of four. So basically you can have lots of different factors, um, factor pairs. And what you may also want to do with this type of question is to list the options. Um, so that you just list all of the factor pairs out. 1, 24, 24, 1, 2, 12, 12, 2, 3, 8, 8, 3, 4, 6, 6, 4. And make sure that you get all of the factor pairs. Um, and it may seem kind of odd that this question is in a lesson on decimals. And you're right, it is kind of weird. Um, but this type of question, I've seen it snuck in with um, lessons on decimals. So I just wanted to make sure that we're aware. It's basically a question about factor pairs. Okay. Otherwise, with dividing decimals, um, you do just like what we said in the, um, in the lesson on dividing decimals. And the wording for division is that they might use the word equal groups. Even groups or quotient is also another key word that you know your word problem is dealing with division. All right, quick overview. We did a um, a fraction que or a um, not fraction decimal question on adding, subtracting, and multiplying, and then we did a division question that was just dividing into equal groups, or in other words, looking at factor pairs. I hope that lesson was helpful for you. Have a wonderful day.